Hey guys, this is Tom Tom here, and I want to share with you something I found on the supermarket. So apparently, my the supermarket nearby my place they have a lot of interesting things, and I pick up this Transformer children's book, and I think yeah, we're gonna do a review on this because it looks cool. So as you can see in here, the product Transformer my busy book. This average, and here we have a including a, a storybook, twelve figurines, and a playmat. So apparently it's like a board game thing. Here we have the warning, choking hazard, small part, and not suitable for children under three years. Autobot, Decepticon, Autobot, Decepticon, Decepticon, Autobot, blah blah. The same on the size here. They are the same. And here we have Transformer, my busy books, and. Fido, Fido. How do you pronounce that? Leave it in the comment. So apparently this is a collab product. And move it back to the back. It's suitable for three years and up. So suitable like this, not for children under three years. Transformer the same. Art and the figures I think. This is figures. And his bumblebee here. An engaging storybook and toy in one activity kit. My busy book or the offer full page illustration, a story, 12 figures, and a play mat that brings the character to life and ignites your child imagination. And all the product here. So apparently, this is a um, collab children's thing by Transformer. Like, yeah, and you see, this is collab licensed by Hasbro. So that means that this, the figures and the content, this book. I think they are produced by Hasbro. So let's open it up and see what we got. Open up, and the first page is where we, we got Optimus Prime and Bumblebee here. Nice box art, nice art. Out mode yellow car for Bumblebee and for Optimus. Semi truck, nice. And we have the, some description of them. We have Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobot, blah blah blah. blah. The finest warrior ever produced by Cybertron and Bumblebee's ultimate prime slow scout and looks up to him as a mentor. Small in stature that he may lack in strength, Bumblebee makes up for the enthousi enthusiasm and speed. Wow, good description. On the other page, and here we have the old Tron here. Megatron. I think with this design, Megatron will be a tank, not like a Walter P36. This is like clearly this is a tank. You can see the uh, the track here. This is the tank tron. This is the description of him. One is honor across Cybertron and respect and fearless warrior until he is corrupted by power. Now he want to conquer the universe. Next page is Star Scream, Jet and Soundwave. What is this surveillance vehicle? Oh, so. Not not just Megatron. They also change Soundwave from the radio cassette to the car. Did you see here? Surveillance vehicle. Some description of them. Look in purple for the Decepticon symbol. They all looks G1 e but yeah, it's a, it's a, um, a modern twist onto the design. I like it. And we're here. We have my least favorite Transformer character of all time, Hot Rod. Overly confident Hot Rod really doesn't like to take advice. Yeah, it's the same. This is like the basic description from the from page one of all Transformer. And here's the ultimate mode race car of Hot Rod. And here's more description on the Autobot. Nice standing poses. Same poses. Same poses. And all of the Autobots on Earth work together to defend human and bots alike. You know what? I'm gonna actually do this. I'm gonna turn this and hold it for two or three seconds each page so you can take a screen cap in the case you want to read this. There we 
go. And I have more box art Megatron Optimus Prime Bumblebee. It is the same one, yes, that's the same one on the box art here. And now to the exciting part, I really like this. Now to the exciting part, the figures of the product, the books. I'm gonna do this. And yeah, there we go. Put this aside. I'm gonna, close it. I'm gonna come back with it in a minute after I finish talking about all the toys. There we go. There we go. And this is like Christmas to children. So I'm gonna separate this into the vehicle form and the robot form. So here we have those. Here we have Soundwave, we have the Tron. What else do we have? Oh, this is Starscream. Yay. And here we have Prime. So we have six vehicle mode. So I'm gonna put them up to the robot mode. That's our rod. That is B. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to stand. There we go. There we have Prime. And now for Sifikon, Soundwave, Megatron, oh sorry, really sorry, and Starsry. And now I'm gonna take a quick look at each one of them. Let's start with Prime. As you can see here, nice figure. Yeah, really nice detail figure for such a small scale. No join. This is the something that applies to every single one of them. No joint, nice molded detail. Yeah, let me like a closer look on him. There we go. And some painted area. Oh, sorry, Prime. But uh, the thing is, Hasbro paint job is not that good. It's nev has never been good. Take a look at the, the wheels, it's terrible. And the hand, oh my god. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna repaint this, all of them, in the near future. That is this car, this truck, the semi truck, as you can see. Terrible paint job, rubbery. So the smokestack got bent. I'll try to bend them normally. Yeah. Next, we have the Scout the Bumblebee. There we go. A mix of the uh, G1 design and the movie design. Hmm. Nice, nice touch. We have the um, doors on the back, and we have the horns from G1. It's a mix. It's a good try. I like it. And now we have Hot Rod. Like I said, this is all like the same type of figure, just on different details. No articulation at all. No, no. That's oh, sorry. Keep falling. This. this is very slippery. Be careful when you buy them. And nothing too much to say about them, just medium painting. And you know, actually, now I look at Hot Rod, he looks like Iron Man, he looks like freaking Iron Man. Guess what? Guess of the color now to Bumblebee and Hot Rod car mode. As you can see, for Bumblebee, this is all clearly a rip off from the movie one for Michael Bay. This is obviously a camera flat detail. Unbalanced, uneven molding. Basically, it minimum painting, and the paint is not even good. And hot rock here, same. No wheel. What is this ladder here? I'm gonna figure it out. Now I can. Can he? Can he move? I wanna try. I'm gonna try if he can move. No, he cannot move at all. He's just gonna stay and slide. That's it for the audible. Now to the cons. This is sound wave. Really nicely done. Apparently the Decepticon figures are better than the Autobots. That's for sure. Clearly superior. <laughs> yeah, this is the best figure of the set so far. Also. Sorry, I keep that, that thing with my camera keep happening again. Yeah, there we go with sound wave. Car mode of him, the different looks. This reminds me of the um, four of Cybertron Soundwave figures when they turn into also a car. See, terrible paint job. This guy needs some heavily repaint. 
Okay, I've a little bit of the Decepticon logos here. I'm gonna try to put it closer so you can see it. There we go. And now we go for Megatron. There we go, and there he is. You can see plain silver plastic. Nothing too special. Some painted details here. Quite nice. This guy have nice paint. Better paint job than others figures. Big fusion cannon signature, but it's banned because it's rubber. Nah, that that's just it. And the tank. Well, you can see. Rubbery. Yay. Deep, nice molding detail here. But just in one piece and this cannot spin. This part cannot spin. So that's just it. Now for the final figures we have Starscream. Nicely done. You know what? His head just look like he's having hairs. This is obviously the curve of the pompadour. And the gun, the snow ray. Like I said, the Decepticon figures have better quality than the Autobots one. Funny thing. And we have the jet mode. Flat. To call this a jet, it's a flat thing. What? F it's a flat thing and it keeps spinning down because it's rubbers and it cannot stay in shape. But it's a nice try. And for the final part of this, this is what they get included. So, rubber figure over here. Box down here. I'm gonna try open this. Let's see what we got. Oh, diorama. It's a big one. Really big. I don't know if it will fit in my frame or not. Oh, sorry. It's been a little bit shaky today when I do this review. This size? Oh. Oh, so apparently this is the thing here. So you got two scenes. You got two sides of diorama. You got the uh, modern Cybertronian thing and you have the destruction scene thing. So I'm gonna try to put them up onto the destruction scene now. Don't be fall don't fall out, don't fall out. Come on, come on, stay, stay, stay guys. Come on, Diorama stays. I think this needs to be hanging up on the wall so it can fit. Nothing too special. So that is my thought on this children book thing. Yeah, it's a fun thing to have, but as we collectors, I suggest we do play with, I don't know, like more details and suitable for collecting figures. This one is a good try if you want to introduce Transformer to your kids. And that is my review on the my busy book Transformer. It's a nice fun thing to have. And um, I don't think I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna put this into my bookshelf and things that I'm reading. It was a poster. Nah, I'm not gonna use it. But this one, you know what is their suitable for? I'm gonna use them for Money Poly next time my friends arrive. It's gonna be so great. Okay, thanks for watching for this review, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of this set. And I will see you next time on this channel. Thank you. See ya.